Um, just first, I just want to met, say that I thought the crowd was amazing. Uh, great atmosphere, homecoming. Um, you know, I, I think we're playing extremely hard. I think we have a lot of kids that are doing the things that we want them to do. Obviously, very impressed with our, our defensive effort tonight, uh, forcing the turnovers, helping get us in position where we can score. Um, you know, I think we're, we're building on some understanding defensively and, and building on some guys that are performers on that side of the ball, and that's really good to see. Um, disappointed very much in our penalties. Um, we're just a team that doesn't have a margin for error right now. We have to play smart football um, with with some of the injuries and the young guys we got playing on offense that are learning how to play the game. Um, we just can't give plays away. And some of the penalties really put us behind the eight ball. Um, was really pleased with the block punt. Um, thought that was a really great play um, by our kids and execution by our special teams. Um, you know, and, and, you know, Giles played his first start tonight and did some really good things, but we got to continue to improve there. So we got a lot of work to do. Um, disappointing that we couldn't find a way to close this game out because it was certainly a game that we could have won. Um, but, you know, we got to continue to go back and help, help these players improve, and our staff's got to do a great job of doing that. Jay, do you feel like you've exhausted all your ideas and concepts that you can come up with offensively to try to get. No, it's really not about that. It's just about execution of our base base stuff. It's it's uh, things that we've been doing since spring. And so, you know, we just have different players doing it every week. So um, it's hard to build continuity off of it. You know, and when, when players start play for the first time, you got communication, you got snap count, you got a lot of things that go on. And, and um, you know, once you play and get some experience, you can build on those things. But when it's the first time, it's kind of like starting all over again. So, um, and, and it's not just Giles, it's other kids too. We got other freshmen that are playing that, that do th some things well at times and other times they play like freshmen. And so um, it is what it is. It's what we, you know, what we have to work with. and. You know, we have to help them as coaches. That's our job. So got to do a better job of, of finding ways for them to feel comfortable and be able to make more plays. And, um, you know, and that's what we'll go back to work on. What did your emotional levels and flows like when your defense set you up about three times for really good chances to score and you didn't come away with enough? Is, is that what you get kind of excited when you see your team? Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, it's very, very, very frustrating because, um, you know, these are things that we, we feel like we can execute. Um, you know, we'll continue to try to put a plan together where our guys can uh, can execute. You know, and we're, we're trying to take pressure off certain kids, too, uh, in leaning on our offensive line and some of our rush game. You know, I thought we had some, you know, Good, good plays in the running game again tonight. Avery ran extremely hard, and our line blocked pretty well for him. Uh, Got to keep our composure at times. Uh, that was not always good, but we've got to we got to eliminate the penalties. You know, kids get start coloring outside the numbers, and you can't do that. You know, we have to play with more composure, and so we'll continue to press for that discipline and and. Um, you know, we got a second half of the season where we really need to see what we're made out of. You see, uh, especially with some of the youth and, and that lead and some of the execution stuff, does that highlight in a red zone when margin um, for success in area? Yeah, is yeah, I mean, that, that area of the field, uh, you know, defenses are a little more uh, aggressive, and, and so your execution's got to be sharper. Um, absolutely. You know, and we – we got to start finishing, you know, in the red zone, and and um, certainly think we're capable of breaking out. Um, you know, we got to get Tory involved. 
you know, he had his hands on several balls. He's getting a lot of tight coverage. He's getting a lot of double coverage. And so it's just the way things are when, when, when you're a good player like that. And we got to find ways to get him the ball more, and, and we got to get him involved. So that's, you know, that's on me. To what extent did the frustration of quarterbacks affect what you're trying to do? And there's a, you've alluded to it, but there's obviously also more to it than that. I don't know that I understand the question. I'm sorry. How much is the fluctuation of quarterbacks have to do with your offensive struggles? Oh, it's, I mean, it has a lot to do with it. You know, one, I mean, one of the things I, I talked to Blake Anderson about before the game is that, you know, this is not something that's just that we're having problems with. It's a problem in the league. And we had two years where we had a COVID year. We had a whole all these older players in this league that had extra years of eligibility and that were used to playing. And And when you look across the league at almost every team, those players are gone. And so a lot of people are playing with younger players that have very little experience and they have very little offensive continuity all through our league. Um, you know, they're going through, Utah State's kind of going through what we're going through with, you know, different quarterbacks that they have to play. Um, you know, it's just, it's just an experience. And we knew that, I mean, when we, when we came here, you know, we, we could have tried to bring in a veteran quarterback and, we just felt like we had talent at that position, even though it was young. We had just a lot of other needs that we needed to bring in. We needed corners. We needed defense you know, ends. We had a lot of other positions that we needed. So so we felt like we, we, we could go with these young kids and give them the experience they need. They have the talent we're looking for. They have the profile we're looking for. Um, you know, Clay, Clay was really, I thought he was improving as a player. Um, really throwing for a high percentage, showing great understanding, with, you know, when he got hurt. And then these young kids had to play. So it, it's a big factor in just, just our experience and our comfort level with what we can run. Um, but it is, it is, you know, it's the same thing a lot of teams are going through, so we have to figure out a way to do it better. I'm sorry, I didn't bring it. It's okay. Speaking of Blake and his QBs, when he went to Davenport, it was like, Speaking a different way, it looked like they were shifting to kind of a zone read deal. I don't, yeah, you guys responded to that. They got a big jolt out of it, then you kind of settled down. Yeah, I, I thought I thought we did a good job defensively adjusting and handling it. I mean, that's what they do. I mean, you know, and they're, you know, they've had issues with turnovers, and so they they're trying to rely on the run game and and quarterback run game, so they don't they don't uh, put the ball in harm's way. I mean, we're trying to do some similar things, you know, not turning the ball over. And, you know, and Giles did a pretty good job of that. Even though he didn't throw for a high percentage, he protected the ball until the very, very end. And he kind of overthrew Torrey. And, um, but, yeah, they, they, you know, they have, they have several different athletic quarterbacks. The quarterback run game is part of what they do. They do a very good job with that. And, um, you know, I, I thought on the most part our guys – handled it pretty decent. Obviously, last week you had the, I guess, locker room excitement of kind of grinding out a win like this. Now you have the reverse of, you know, similar type of game, but lose. How, how are the guys kind of reacting right It's now? tough. It's a tough loss. I mean, we had a lot of guys play extremely hard. Um, you know, we did a lot of things really well defensively. Um, you know, if you, can, if you can hold anybody in the teams, you need to be winning games. And so, you know, we're obviously struggling, um, you know, to with our, some of our personnel. We got to do a better job putting them in position. And so, um, you know, they're, those kids are hurting in there. And so we got to keep them up. We got to keep them going um, and, uh, you know, get them to bounce back. You know, we have a big, we have a big um, challenge ahead of us the second half of the season. You know, we got a lot of work to do. Um, we got to keep continuing to improve and understand what we're doing and fighting for edu uh, execution. And as we get some players back healthy, we should see improvement. And, and that's what we're looking for um, these next six games. What have you noticed most about your defensive growth the last couple of weeks as they've given you chances to win games? Well, I, I just think, I think Henry Blackburn has been a real shot in our arm with our defense. Um, 
just given us that spirit and, and that edge. Um, I think we're developing playmakers on defense. I don't think it's rocket science. I mean, we have good corners. Um, we have good defensive linemen, um, kids that have played a little bit. Um, you know, and, and we're playing well in the back end with our safeties. You know, we got Jack back and we've got good players. And so, um, you know, I think I think we're developing in the scheme and developing playmakers and you know, and that's that's what you know, that's that's what you gotta do on either side of the ball and, and develop that confidence to do what we can do. And so, um, you know, I I see us we gotta continue to get better defensively. Um you know, hopefully we'll get some guys back on offense, maybe get Clay back and, and um, you know, just help solidify us and play with more confidence offensively and, um, and play off each other and start to gain some momentum. And that's, you know, that's the goal. How do you guys as coaching staff go about trying to limit the penalties? I mean, some double it's just discipline, you know. You know, and kids get out over their skis sometimes and, and they're a little bit more aggressive or get a little frustrated. Um, you know, we just have to do a better job. Uh, you know, some some of these kids, uh, you know, in some of the deep balls, they kind of panic a little bit and and not play the ball, and we we, we get a pi. And so, um, you know, and the focus and concentration at the on the snap count, or you know, it's just something we got to eliminate. I mean, it's just not good. And and so, um, you know, we have to be better, and that's what I told the kids: we have to be better. And, and we have to play better, and we have to play with more discipline. And, um, you know, I think it's something we're, we're capable of doing. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, guys.